of I suppose how excited are you at the thought of leading Cork City on the Champions League title tomorrow night? Yeah, absolutely delighted. Uh, like as a player, uh, you want to play in these big games, and uh, like yeah, we're really looking forward to it as a team. What do you know about Levy? What has John kind of told you about them? Well, at the last few days, I've been watching clips of them. You know, like uh, what they're good at, what their uh, weaknesses are, what their star men are. Um, and then individually, like if, uh, like if for myself, I'm midfielders and looking at their, their midfielders and see what they're good at and bad at and stuff, and uh, vice versa for centre backs or whatever. But uh, like uh, we'll be re- well prepared. John is expecting you not to have a lot of the ball tomorrow. Are you expecting that as well? Yeah, well, that's going to happen, you know. Uh, naturally, uh, like obviously they're a big club and they've played in the Champions League before, so um, like it's going to be tough. It's going to be uh, really hot as well. So look, uh, we'll try and. Try and you know, like, uh, pick our chances, and hopefully we can take our chances, and uh, like, uh, we'll see where that leads us. Is there an element of, like, from your mindset, Connor, of just wanting to do yourselves justice? I suppose, like, you hate to look back on this tie, you know, if you don't go through and think that, you know, that you didn't actually perform to your maximum, and that you actually left something behind you. Yeah, well, I think, uh, like us at Cork, we, like, uh, we go out to try and win every game, and uh, like, I believe, like, if we, like, I play to our best, and we can take our chances, and. Like if we can keep it tight, you know, like the game can go either way, you know. Like I've seen a lot of big teams be knocked out across like a lot of tournaments before, so there's no reason why we couldn't. Were you a Pats when they played Legia last time? I was, yeah. Are, is there many similarities between them now? Do you know? Like, are, is there more, much personnel changes? Yeah, yeah, there is. I think Henningberg was their manager at that time, you know. So there's been a, it's mm. a couple of years ago now. And you got, you got a good result over there, though, didn't you? The yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, they scored late on. Uh, the equaliser over there was one all and. Brought them back to Tallis Stadium and unfortunately it didn't work out then. Do you think you took anything from that experience that might help you going into tomorrow night or is there just too much changes? Was it too long ago? Yeah, well, look, um, it's, it's an extra bit of experience, you know, like playing in Europe and playing these big games and big stadiums and against big teams, obviously, you know, like it's a bit of experience, so it does help. You might have to play tomorrow night with a Martin McNulty. Are you ready for that? Yeah, well, absolutely. You know, uh, Peter Cherry's our number two now at the minute, but he's going to come in and he's going to. You know, it's like he's an experienced goalkeeper. Um, he's played around the league a long time. He's played in some big games as well. And, um, so like yeah, we're looking forward to and hopefully um, Pete can you know uh, pull off some good saves tomorrow for him. An opportunity as well, isn't it, for some fellas to put themselves in the shop window? People like here in Sadly who said he'd like to get back to England, but these big European games are a big opportunity, aren't they, to shine? Yeah, well, it is. You know, like as a player, uh, like as I said there before, uh, you want to play in these big games and uh, you want to test yourself against the best in Europe. And uh, tomorrow night's no different. And uh, they're a good team, and uh, we want to impose ourselves well. And um, hopefully, uh, we do that and we get a good result. Alabella talked on Friday of kind of you know moving away from the Rovers result, using Europe as an opportunity to refresh yourselves. Is that kind of been the way it's been in the camp for the last couple of days? Yeah, well, that's it. Uh, we just take uh, the next game. Like it's the next biggest game, you know. So we always just dedicate that, like a whole week, and um, uh, we do our homework, and uh, hopefully we can apply ourselves now tomorrow well. And as I said, then uh, hopefully we can get a good result. Yeah, how's the mood generally? Relaxed. Oh yeah, good, good. Uh, like everyone's delighted. Everyone's looking forward to this. Um, you know, like it's the Champions League uh, qualifier at the end of the day. Uh, like everyone wants to play, and everyone's uh, biting at the bit. So uh, we'll be well prepared. Yeah, and ask John the same thing. Like you're about, you played a lot, a lot in Europe now at this stage. Are you conscious of the fact that you're representing the league when you're in Europe, and that you know people, the general public, are more likely to judge you what you're doing in Europe than what you're doing in your own league? Yeah, well, look, like uh, we concentrate on ourselves really. Uh, we don't care what any other really team do. You know, uh, like, uh, we make sure that we're set up properly and who we're playing. Uh, we have our homework done and all the background stuff, so all all set in place before the game actually goes. And if we can do that, if we can set to our uh, game plan. And uh, if we can take our chances and uh, ride our luck at times, you know, like anything can happen, and uh, that's what we're looking for tomorrow. Yeah, you squad as well. That's pretty chock full of European experience at this stage of the last couple of seasons. How important is that to guys that don't get overawed by the occasion? Yeah, well, that's it. You know, um, as I said there again, like as a player, uh, you want to play in these games, and some players have played them before, and some players like it's brand new to them as well. So hopefully we can uh, mix it up together and blend it together, and hopefully it comes good in the night. And what sort of advice have you been giving to those young players who haven't played in Europe before? Yeah, well, like, uh, there's all sorts of different uh, formations you're going to come up against, uh, personnel, uh, a lot more technical players you're going to come up against. So you have to, like, uh, you always have to, like, encourage them and tell them, you know, like, uh, what to prepare yourself for and what to expect. So, um, 
you know, so we, uh, we just have to make sure we're ready and like everyone's tuned in. Yeah, I suppose in the two games that maybe you have played, you're probably aware like they they didn't get a great result in the, their own home leg. So obviously, getting a result in the in your home leg is like be slightly confusing. To get a good result in the first leg would be would signal that you might be able to get a good result over there as so. well. Which for us? For you, yeah. sorry. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, no. So we're look, uh, we're gonna go out tomorrow night and uh, give it our best shot and. Hopefully that we can come away with the uh, right result. Jake, can we say everyone's talking about like a war so that to kind of underestimate anything how good he is as well? Yeah, well, look, I'm sure they'll have their homework done. I'm sure they've watched their like our last couple of games and uh, seen where we are and even like our games probably last year in Europe. I say they would have been looking at that as well. So I'm sure they'll be well prepared. And look, uh, we just have to concentrate on ourselves and like if we can if we can stop them, stop uh, stop their um, attack and threat, and if we can take our chances. You know, the game can go. That'd be the main case for tomorrow to keep clean sheets, was it? Yeah, well, that's it. If you keep a clean sheet, you don't lose games. So um, that's that's the most important thing. And Conor, obviously, Joe, like the, the, the Rovers team, you won 2011, Dundalk in 2016. Would you say the City would be hoping to kind of make a statement this campaign in Europe? Isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, we have the players. Uh, we're, we're obviously a good side, you know. So um, hopefully, hopefully we can do that. Uh, hopefully, if we employ ourselves well and we get the right result, hopefully then we can go into the second leg and... Look, if things uh, things go away, there's no reason why we couldn't progress.